What's up, YouTube? Wayne here, back at it again with another unboxing for you. Smash that like button and let's get into it. Guys, check it out. I got something cool to share with you guys today. I was in Alabama and I visited a Walmart and I looked and I heard about these coming out. These are the Playmates. You know, Playmates was the original company that had the rights to Ninja Turtles. And these are their two packs. Right now I have Leonardo and Rocksteady and Michelangelo and Bebop. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, you know, Let's say we're going to get Donatello and probably Shredder or Raph and Shredder. And then we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, no, it tells us right here. Donatello and Shredder and Raphael and Triceraton. So can't wait to get those. But let's get these open. Let's check them out in five, four, three, two. <gasps> oh, man. Wow. These are so cool. I can't believe it. I love these. Um, I am a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in the Half Shell, Turtle Power, they're the ones who are the fighting. No, just, but yeah, I love turtles. I mean, I think there's this video, I, I don't know if I've said this before in one of my videos, there's this video out there somewhere, uh, my mother has it, of me at seven and they're like with the lisp and they're like what do you want to be when you grow up i want to be a ninja turtle and they're like which ninja turtle michelangelo so i got michelangelo my second favorite turtle has always been leonardo um but let's let's just talk about this take a second to look at these get in on these these are so so cool oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, just word of advice, when you do get a chance to get these, you're gonna need some wire cutters. Uh, because I almost damaged, uh, you know, Rocksteady's sword or knife or blade. He doesn't have a place to hold it. I wish they would've did that, but I almost damaged it. I love what they come with stands, like full, po they're fully articulated, posable figures, and they all come with stands. Ha Hasbro, you can learn something with the lightning collection on this, but, um, I just love it. Uh, I've only seen them at Walmart in Alabama. I scanned the UPC barcodes on the bottom. I'll have the barcodes available on the bottom of them in the link in the description below. And if I can find it on Walmart, I will send it there. And so you guys can get them. Um, they're on eBay for decent prices. I think I paid $40 a piece for them or something like that. I've seen both of them on eBay for like 100 bucks. So... Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I would definitely get these if you can't if you don't have them at your local Walmart. Um, let's check a second just here to look at Leo. Um, I know I said Mikey's my favorite, but I think now that I'm older, I like Leo because uh, I want to be the leader. Um, you got fully posable fingers and hand. Each finger is posable by itself to itself, so you can do like weird stuff with it. But that's cool. He can, can hold his katanas. Katana. Radical, dude. Uh, let's see how tight. Yeah, he can hold them pretty tight. So he can hold them tight. They do slide in and out. Uh, the belt is made of your everyday, like, leathery plastic. Um, pegs is how they sit on the stand, like always. But look at that. Oh, ooh, I popped them off. But that's how they come off. So you can do a full flying kick head. I wish 
they had you know more head selections. Uh, but NECA, you have uh, some competition here. So check it out. Look, that is so cool. You can do that. Hey. And he kicks him in the face and the foot adjusts so he can get like a full plant on his face like that. That is so cool. Oh, man. I'm, I'm just really enjoying these. I can't believe that I had an opportunity to grab them. It is uh, truly cool that I was in Alabama at the right place at the right time. Um, not for the best reason, but right place, right time. And... Look at that, Leo. And you don't need the stands to stand them up, but it's just cool that they come with them. I have the NECA, as you can see right here. I have the smaller and the bigger version of these. This was in one of my closets that got wet. I want to get another box, but it's perfectly fine. I haven't opened one. I really want to get another set to open and like move around and pose and everything. Uh, let's get into Michelangelo here. We'll do the bad guys next. But look at him. Oh, man. And this is from the 90s cartoon or the 80s cartoon. Um, I was little, so I think it was either the 80s or the 90s. And it's just... Look at this nunchaku. Look at that. That is metal. That is a metal chain. Come on. For 40 bucks or 35 or however much these things cost, you get a quality figure in there. Um, how hard is it to get him to hold the nunchaku? Okay, you just put his finger down like that, boom. So there's one. And there's two. Boom. And like I said, he stands simple. I mean, turtle feet, long. They got this long elongated thing in the front and two big toes. So they're not the hardest things to stand up. But uh, here we have the Bebop. Oh, the hog. Um, I think he's pretty accurate to the cartoon. He, This is what they have for the cartoon lookalike here. So he's more in between the latest movie that came out and the cartoon. But he's got these bulging pecs. He's got his little shell. Uh, uh, what is the shoulder pads? Two grenades on there with his sneakers, his J's on. Check out my footwork. Uh, look at him. Can he stand pretty easily without the. Uh, yeah, he's top heavy. He is top heavy. So, let's see. What's the best way to do that? You know, you gotta gotta let you know. So, if I was you guys, I would display him all the time, bebop all the time on the, because he's top heavy. That's fine. As you can see here, their names are on their individual sewers. Okay, let's get in the rock steady. Comes with his little Gallic gun. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Paint is awesome on these. I mean, Playmates toys, you did a great job. You did a great job. I wonder if NECA had anything to do with it. I'm not sure. But I can't wait to get the other two. I don't know when they'll come out. Hopefully, they'll be in Walmarts everywhere pretty soon, and everybody can just get them at their leisure. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. These are a definite buy for me. I mean, I might have to get some more. I might have to get another one. One to keep in the box, but Leo back on his thing. Michelangelo back on his thing. I would say, guys, these are a great buy. Um, you know, this is the type of stuff that collectors want. I mean, you got a fully posable figure. You got a stand to put them on. You got a great, awesome packaging, awesome box. I mean, it's very basic. You got the two characters that are included in the box, Michelangelo and Bebop. You've got some artwork here in the back. It shows you who's coming out later, right? They call them the Rebels right there. Uh, look at that. 
Like I said, link will be in the description. UPC is in the description. We get that. So, Rocksteady, Leonardo. Uh, now, oh yeah. So you got him showing a little teeth. Uh, he's a tiny bit cross-eyed. Tiny bit cross-eyed, like all most figures are nowadays. But the shells are hard plastic. The front shells are hard plastic. The the internal body is a good feeling solid plastic like i mean full articulation they can do pretty much any pose that you want them to do i love it i would say go out and buy this i would say this will be something that should be on your christmas list this year um definitely find one let me know in the link look let me know in the description if you love them if you don't love them but please hit that like button guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.